when yama called one day aji was sitting and stitching a tear in an old sari the children came and sat around her the holidays were finishing and they did not want to be away from her for even a minute meenu and krishna affectionately put their arms around aji's neck and said aji why do you have so many wrinkles in your hand because i am old said aji why do all people have wrinkles asked meenu aji took off her glasses which she wore only when she was sewing or reading and uh, and said once upon a time i was also young like you my skin was smooth and shiny my hair was long and black i had very sharp eyes and an excellent memory but as i grew older everything changed slowly we will all grow old like this one day shan't we asked divya yes every living being gets old it is a part of life come on i'll tell you a story about old age many many years ago there there lived in a little town a man named arun He was a merchant and though he was not not very rich he lived comfortably enough he had a large family of brothers sisters wife and children he looked after them well and in whatever way he could he also helped out the poor people in the town he built rest houses for travelers and in these were dining halls where anyone could come and have a good time good wholesome meal for very little money one day while returning home from work he happened to pass one such rest house it had a veranda where people stopped and rested Sitting there looking tired and hungry was a stranger. He was a tall man. His clothes were travel stained and showed that he had come from afar. With him, with him was his horse looking as tired and hungry as its master. Seeing them Arun's kind heart melted and he went up to speak up speak to the man. "Where have you come from my brother?" he asked. "Why didn't you step inside for a hot meal and some rest?" The man looked up and gave a smile and said, "The house is very hot. The rest house is very popular." there is no room for me and the dining hall is full too i will wait here for a while then be on my way i'm sure i'll find another place to serve me some food down the road arun would not hear of this the thought that someone was going away without food and rest was too much for him he insisted on the man coming back to his house with him there he invited the traveler to share a meal with his family the man was served lovingly and ate his fill while he was eating the man noticed that arun was somewhat sometimes a bit absent minded it was as if something was on his mind and he was worried once he had finished eating and wa- and had washed up the traveler rose to leave he thanked arun for his kindness and then said if you don't mind me asking sir i could not help but notice that you were a bit worried i know i am a stranger to you but perhaps it would help lighten your burden if you shared your worries with me but arun only smiled and shook his head he did not want to share his thoughts to the stranger then the man said Perhaps if I show you who I really am, you will confide in me. And and in a trice, the man changed. He was no longer a tired traveler, but a god, resplendent and in, sh- in shimmering clothes, with a crown on his head. His horse changed into a buffalo, and the man introduced himself. I am Yama, the Lord of Death. Now will you tell me what's wrong? Seeing this, Arun nearly fainted. The Lord of Death had just shared a meal with him. W- what are you doing on earth, my lord? He gasped. Yama smiled and said. Oh I like coming here once in a wh- once in a while and seeing what everyone's doing. So what's bothering you? Arun replied, "You see, I need to grow um, grow my business more, but today I was not feeling very well. If anything happened to me, who would look after my large family?" Yama nodded seriously. "Don't worry, child," he comforted. "I have seen what a hard-working, kind-hearted person you are. You are you invited me home and let me have a meal with you, knowing me only to be a tired and weary traveler." I will do one thing. When it is time for you to leave earth, leave the earth and come with me, like all living things have to do one day, I will not come all of a sudden. I will let you know many days in advance so you can prepare yourself and your affairs for the time you have to go away with me. Arun bowed down to the Lord in gratitude when he heard this and Yama vanished. Years went by. Arun became an old man. His business had grown many times over. His children and brothers and sisters were all well looked after. He had a few worries left. One night he went to bed and had a dream. He saw Yama standing in front of him. Yama was hold, holding out a hand towards him and saying, "Come, it is time for you to go away with me." Arun was terrified. "But Lord, you had promised you would tell me days in advance before I would die. How can I come away right now?" A small smile appeared on Yama's lips. "But child, I will give you a warning. I made your hair turn white. I made your back stoop with age. I made your teeth fall out one by one." These were all indications your time on earth is coming to an end. But these things happen to every man and woman. How could these these be a warning only for me? Yama nodded. 
Yes, they do happen to everyone. And when they do, men and women should start getting ready to meet me. Life has come to an end and there, there is no escape. Arun now understood. He looked back on his day and realized that even without meaning to, he had been preparing for this. His children looked after his business. All his work was done. There was nothing stopping him from going away with his old friend Yama. He climbed on the buffalo behind Yama. Let's go, he said. And off, and off Yama went away with him.